it's Mr. Tlajwayo here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, what we are doing uh, basically today, we are looking at our, you know, sine, cosine, and area rule, right? So we are trying to, you know, uh, you know, understand in terms of how can we go about solving these types of questions whenever we are given, right? So now the best thing that you are going to do now from here, we are going to try and solve these using a past paper of November. This is 2022. This was written uh, from the Gauteng province, right? Now let's look, uh, let's look at this. So this is question seven. They say um, uh, a camera person is stationed at the top of a vertical tower uh, where TG is equals to H. She films uh, what they get at A where the angle of depression at T is theta, the camera follows the cat uh, as it walks in the same vertical uh, plane. Now, a distance of X meter horizontal to B, creating an angle of your beta, right? Now, what is it that they want us to do firstly? Now, they will require us to find out what is going to be your angle of B1, right? So they want you to find out what is going to be your angle of B1. Right. So now, why is it that you are going to do now from here to find out what is going to be your angle of B1? Right. So now from here, you can see that this line is going to be parallel to this. Right. So which means your angle B1, right. Your angle B1 here, starting from here, is going to be the same as that one. Right. So which means your angle B1, you are going to say B1 is equal to your theta plus your beta. Right. Because of the alternating angles. How to get? So now, basically, that's going to be your first uh, answer for that one. Now, let's look at the second one. They want us to show now that uh, now that we know that our B1 is same as your theta plus your what plus your beta. Now, they want us to show what is going to be uh, the X, right? Now, uh, what is it that you are going to uh, do now from here? So we are going to start here. Right, so they are looking for this particular x, right? So they are looking for this particular x. Now, what is it that you are going to do? If we can focus firstly on triangle, right? Uh, let's see if let's say we are focusing on triangle TG, uh, it's TGB, right? TGB, right? Or B, uh, TG, anyway, right? Now, what is the first thing, or what is the first thing that you are now going to do now from here? You are going to say, Look, uh, now your sign. If let's say you do your sign, right? So can you see that uh, here you are going to have uh, your sign. This one is your opposite side. You can uh, have your opposite side and you can find out what is going to be your T, what, what is going to be your TP or rather your PT. Okay. Now let's see what is it that you can do now from here. So you can say, look, my sign, my sign of what? My sign of theta uh, plus what? Plus beta. Uh, is one and the same thing with what uh, is going to be same as what is the opposite side? It's H. And this is going to be over what? Over your BT. Now, if let's say we want to make our BT to be the subject of the formula, you are going to say, look, my BT is going to be same as H divided by sine of theta plus your beta. Okay. So that's going to be your BT firstly. Now, uh, what is it that you are going to do now from here after that? Now, they are saying in triangle ABT, right? So if now we can say, now that we have what is going to be the length of this particular line here, right? Now, we want to focus uh, in what? In triangle. Uh, now, let's just, let me just highlight this triangle, right? Using a different color. Now, we are focusing in this triangle, right? We are focusing in this triangle now. Now, what is it that you are going to do now from here? Uh, uh, now, so you are going to say, look, now what is it that we have? Now, they want us to find out what is going to be your what? Your X. Basically, they want us to prove that your X is going to be close to that, right? Now, we have the, the, the distance here, right? And we have what? What else do we have now from here? Now, uh, let's see. We have your distance. Uh, now, from here, you also have your X. You also have your beta. Now, what is the best thing that you can do now from here to express your X, right? Now, you are going to apply your what? Your uh, your sign rule. Because according to your sign rule, what is it that you need to have? As soon as you have the angle, uh, if you can have the opposite side, right? 
uh, let's say if you can have an angle and the opposite side, and then now you also have this one, you have also this side. Now, what is going to be this angle here? Right? What is going to be this angle here? Now, let's start with uh, by finding out what is going to be the angle here. So your angle here, can you see that your angle A is going to be close to your theta? Right? Because of what these are alternating, right? Can you see that they are alternating? Uh, they are alternating. So which means your A is going to be close to what? Your theta. Now, if this is your theta, now you also have these uh, corresponding opposite side, right? Now, what is it that you're going to do? You can say, look, my what? Now, if let's say I start with my x, I say x divide by. Now, so this is going to be x divided by sine of what? This is going to be sine of b. Now, I am applying my sine rule here, right? It's x over sine of b is going to be one and the same thing with what? With bt, right? This is going to be bt over what? Over your sine of your what? This is going to be your sine of your x plus your theta, right? Or rather, plus your sine of theta, right? Plus your sine of theta. And then now, from here, what is it that we know? Already we know the representation of your PC, right? So, which means now, the best thing that you can do, you can say, now, look, your x over your sine of your B is going to be same as what? It's going to be the same as, uh, now, what is it that you are going to have from here? And now, let's see. So, you remember your PT, we said it was same as H over your sine of what? This is same as your H over your sine of theta plus your beta. Then this is going to be divided by, this is divided by your sine of theta that you already had here, right? Which is going to be the sine of theta. Or to can. And now from here, what is it that you are going to do? Uh, let's see. So now uh, we can start by firstly cross multiplying, right? Uh, now, what is it that you are going to do now when you want to multiply here, right? So, firstly, you are going to say x over b, or rather x over sine of b. Now, remember, this is division sign, right? Uh, now, if you change the division sign here, this is uh, h over sine of b, divide by sine of what? Divide by sine of that. So, if you want, let's say, to change this, can you see this is actually going to be same as h over your sine of your theta plus your beta? multiply by what multiply by your what multiply by your uh sine of what this is going to multiply by one over sine of theta right multiply by one over sine of theta now which means this is same as x over sine beta uh, is going to be close to h divide by this is going to be sine of uh your theta plus your beta multiply by sine of theta and then now when you cross multiply then now your value of your x that you're going to have now because your x is going to come this side right so it's going to multiply with h right so which means it's going to be h sine of beta divide by sine of your theta plus your beta uh multiply by your sine of b Okay, so basically that's what you're going to have, which is going to be the value of your x that they required us to prove. Okay, now hopefully you can be in a position to, you know, understand in terms of what these particular question require you to do. Let's look at 7.3. Now here they say determine the, det uh, the distance uh, x the cat walked from A to B. If the tower was 20 meter high and the theta was 65 and the beta was 37. Now, even if you might have failed to, you know, to do your 7.2. But now in your question 7.3, you just take all the values that you are given. You substitute into uh, that equation that they gave us, right? Now, let's see. Because now they are looking for the value of your x. Now, let's see the expression. Of our, of our x. Remember, we've already found out what is going to be the expression of our x. Now, let's see. So, we are saying our x is given by x is same as h over, this is sine of your theta plus your beta, multiplied by sine of your theta, right? So, now what is going to be this? What is your h? Your h is same as, uh, remember, this was also sine of b, yes. Right? Now, let's see. What is it that you are having here? Now, we are going to say, uh, your h is 20 multiplied by sine. What is going to be your beta that you're having? This is 37 degrees. Uh, 37 degrees divide by, this is going to be sine of, now what is your theta? Now the theta that you're having, this is 65 degrees plus, uh, 65 degrees plus 37 degrees 
uh, this is going to be multiplied by, this is multiplied by 65 degrees, right? Multiplied by 65 degrees. And now, uh, as soon as you are here, you can literally just plug this in your calculator and then you see what is it that you're going to have, which means the value of your X, in your, if you plug this in your calculator, it's going to be 13,58 meters, 58 meters, right? How to get? So, which means now, you are going to state now that the cat basically, uh, the cat traveled, what the cat traveled, the cat traveled how many uh, meters traveled 13,58 meters, right? So that was the distance that is traveled by the cat, right? Hopefully this makes sense now. And thank you very much.